Hello everybody! In this video we will see how to create an angular and reactive form and how to iterate over a form array. Furthermore, we will see how to add and remove items from the array. So, let's get started. The form model that we're going to work with is this one, which is a my form form group, which consists of a colors form array and needs item of the form array it's a form group so we have here three different form groups the first one is a form group the second form group and the third one again is a form group each form group now has a different form control or to be more precise each form group has a form control and the name of the form control is name like we see here name name and name if we see the template, the only thing that we have is just the form with a binding form group. And also I have the myform.value with a JSON pipe, and this looks like this. And this is actually the structure, the JSON structure of the form model that we're going to work with. Now, how to start? Whenever we're going to bind a form array, what we have to do is to use the form array name directive so i'm going to use here in the ng container the form array name and what is the name of the form array colors the second thing that we have to do is to iterate over the form array items so again i'm going to create another ng container and what i'm going to do is to use the ng4 equals let I don't care about the item name, so I will have it like this, of colors controls. And also we need to have the index, so I will use it here. And I will name the index parameter like idx. So the colors controls, so what is this colors? Let's go back in the source code. The colors is this getter. Actually we are getting the colors from the form group and we're returning the form array. And we have to have it like this as form array because this method, the get method, returns an abstract control. And we have to have it like a form array. Now, the next step is to start building our form. And I'm going to use Bootstrap for this one, for this example. So I will have a div and I will have a class with a form in line, form in line, and also let's add some spacing, margin bottom one, for example, and now let's create the input. The input, again, since we use Bootstrap, will be a form control, and now we need to have a binding. Let's close this. The binding that we need to have is specifically on each item of the form array. And the question here is which item? Here we have the iteration. And we know that the controls are, each control is a different form group. So since we have a form group, we need to have also the form group name. So here I will have the form group name equals to idx and I have to have it like this a property binding and I will explain later exactly what this binding does now since we have the form group name in the input now we can have the form control name and what is the name of the control name okay before we continue let's see what we have done so let's have them side by side and do the following. So, let's see, let's have this here for the readability reasons. What are the controls of the colors? Are form groups. So, we have different form groups. In order to work with nested form groups, you need to specify the name of the form group. And what is the name here in this code? Actually, we do not have names. So we have a form array and we have three different form groups. 
since we have to define for the nested form group to define the name of the form group we are going to use the indexes of the array and this is a 0 1 and 2 we have three indexes that's why we use here in the template let idx equals index because we need to have the index this means that the final binding is going to be like my form dot colors which is my form dot colors and then we're going to use the index either being zero or one or two so this is how the binding works it's like we have a javascript object and this javascript object has an array and we're going to use a specific item of an array I set my co my form colors 0 1 or 2 nice so let's continue yeah we we'll have the results so we we'll have red green and blue if we start typing we can see that we have also a correct binding let's delete this one and I said red green blue now let's go back and the next thing that we have to do is to try to delete each item. To delete the items using form array, we need of course to have a button. And since we use bootstrap, I will have some bootstrap classes here. Uh, this is btn, btn primary, sorry, btn primary. And I'm going to have it like a small one. And let's have also a margin left. And I, here I'm going to have like the X letter. And here is our buttons. Let's have an event. The event will be click. And on each one, on each click, we're going to invoke the remove color method. And we will provide here the IDX. So let's create this method remove color and this is going to be the the first argument will be the index of type number and now these colors remove at this is the method that we are going to use index nice so let's see what we have let's try to delete the color green if i click this button if i click this one so nice we have it so let's reload to have them back and now let's try to add a new item we we'll have three items and how about if i want to have more than three so i'm going to create another button and i will have it here so let's add a button again let's use some classes using bootstrap btn btn dot dash primary and this will be the add new let's see how it looks like nice this is our button looks nice and also let's create let's use the click event and let's add also event handler and I will add it like add color and we we'll have to create the method so the add color what is going to do these colors dot and I'm going to use this method push and the trick part here is that we have to use the exact same structure so I will have it like this but of course without the color name and if I click the button add new we can see that we have here a new one and if I type the white we can see that the white is here which means that we have a correct binding and if I try to delete this we deleted the last one and if I, we try to delete the red we deleted the, the red nice very good so it seems that we have a working solution and that's it all thanks for watching